Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to take your project from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve to color, uh, color grade and color correct, and then bring it back to Premiere. So here's my movie. Let's just say it's my movie. Uh, my good man, Craig Gellis, comes in, sees there's something weird down there, and what's going So I'm ready to color this, okay? So first thing we're going to do, make sure that there are no effects within or above. So you want to make sure there's no adjustment layers. You want to make sure there's no um, effects transitioning in. So that's crucial. Also with audio, I have mine on mute because this is just camera audio, but you want to make sure uh, that it also has no like fades or um, uh, exponential fades in or out. Just make sure it's nice and clean. You've got your movie bare bones, um, but the edit is done and ready to color. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to go up here to file and then we are going to go to export and we want to do an EDL. So what an EDL is, is it basically allows you to um, divvy up your, it kind of tells DaVinci Resolve where your cuts are, what the film should look like once it imports uh, the actual movie. So we're going to do that. We're going to go EDL and then you can save it as whatever you want. I'm going to title it as example and then we're going to hit OK and we're going to save it. Let's do it onto my desktop just to keep things easy. Desktop. Boom. EDL. Save. All right. That is done. Super fast. It's right here on the corner here. From there, what we want to do is export the film. We're going to go back up to export. We're going to go file, export, media. And then when you export here, you want to try to get the best resolution you can. OK, so I like to go, you know, depending on what you shot and I shot this in ProRes, but I'm gonna try to up it a little bit. I'm gonna go 422 HQ, just to give me a little bit more leeway. Um, but it's totally up to you. You know, if you shot it in in like I did ProRes 1080p and you want to color it in that, you can export it in 1080p. That's fine. We'll go here. Why don't we just not do audio? You can do export audio and video, and then mess around with it in, in Resolve if you want to. Um, but for this, we're just gonna do video, and then we're gonna go export. Boom, done. So let's get rid of that. Here's our film, here's our EDL, right here. Once in DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna go File, we're gonna go Import, we're gonna go Media, the desktop. So let's go, let's grab it. Okay, great, we've got that. Now, we wanna get the EDL in here. So File, Import, Pre-Conformed EDL, and Example EDL. Bring it in, bam. Once you import those, it's already in. It cut up your film. You wanna check it and make sure it's right. So let's go here and let's make sure, boom, boom, boom. So remember in Premiere, I had, uh, it wasn't all the way against the beginning of the timeline. So this, the EDL told DaVinci Resolve, hey, there's a black gap here, keep that. And then it's the first clip. So this is exactly how it was in Premiere Pro. And now we're free to color it. we're good right like let's say we love this looks great colors great we're gonna go deliver and then up at the top here you'll see premiere xml that is what you want right there because that's going to send it back in a premiere file um, so you're going to go let's do it desktop again just to keep everything in the same spot perfect we want to do video there is no audio so we don't have to worry about that and we're gonna send it back the way we got it. 1080p is what it was. Add to render queue and hit it. All right, we're exported. Now let's see, these should be on our desktop. Boom, here they are, one, two, three, four. Go back to Premiere Pro and then let's import them. Actually, just because for the sake of time, I like to just drag them. So let's bring them in here, boom. And all you have to do Put them over top of your clips. And this looks like this is that gap. So we've got one more we need to grab. Still processing. There we go. Boom. And now that you've laid them over top, your color grade is now in Premiere Pro. Usually these export in order. So you can just drag the whole file folder into your media bin here, media browser or your project. And this is what they look like. So see how they're purple versus the blue. 
and then you just drag them. You can drag them one at a time. You can pull them all over and do it on version two. It's up to you. But that is how you go from Premiere Pro editing to DaVinci Resolve coloring and then bring it back. There you go. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks, guys.